Hey everyone, this is Don Miguccioni back to talk about more quick health and fitness tips. So if you're watching on Facebook, this is a follow-up post. If you saw the post from January 25th talking about goal setting and accountability, this is sort of a build off of that one. So first of all, thank you all so much who participated, who sent messages or comments. I hope it was helpful to write down your goal and have somebody check back in with you and, and maybe that helped a little bit more with follow through. It's nice, um, the program that I'm doing, the nice component of that is there's an in-person meeting or, or phone meeting as well. So you get that person to person connection, but even, even taking the step of writing it down and knowing that there's follow up um, has been shown to help with, with goals and, and making sure that they're followed through on. So one goal that I shared last week that I wanted to follow up on and also build into this next post is I was going to not have a second cup of coffee and replace it with water. And that worked really well for me. And I also wanted to share what can happen when you focus on a goal specifically and you have an overarching theme in mind as to why you're trying to accomplish it. So the reason that I cut out the second cup of coffee is it wasn't agreeing with my stomach. So I was trying to think, okay, so what could that possibly be? Am I drinking too much coffee? Maybe. So at first, before I cut out the second cup of coffee, I got a smaller coffee mug. So I was going to a local establishment and getting myself a coffee on the way to work after I'd had one in the morning. And also as part of my theme of becoming stronger and healthier every day, I'm listening to some educational podcasts on the subject. And one of them happened to perk my interest. They started talking about coffee. And one thing that struck me, which I hadn't really thought about before, is the way that you prepare coffee, the way coffee is prepared, and why that matters. So they were talking specifically about preparing your own coffee, whole bean coffee versus ground coffee. And I was always had gotten pre-ground coffee previously. So what the person on the podcast has shared is essentially once a coffee bean is ground, it starts the process of spoiling. And that can lead to some issues even as serious as having mold in your coffee. And that didn't sound very appetizing to me. So I thought a little bit more, I'm like, okay, um, grinding coffee, probably something to look into a little bit. Then I started thinking about what could be the problem with the coffee that I'm drinking. And the answer was, I don't know because I don't make that coffee. So I don't know if it's pre-ground or whole bean. I don't know what kind of water that they're using. Our city has had some issues with water contamination that they're working on. So I, a lot of things came to mind and said, okay, well, maybe it's worth swapping out and not, not getting coffee and doing the water. And that's where that first idea came in. Then I started to look into, okay, what would I need to do? if I wanted to switch to whole bean coffee. And the answer wasn't, wasn't really very complicated. So since I was making my own coffee with pre-ground, um, I already had one of these little drip cones here, some filters. <clears throat> so the only real adjustment was to buy whole bean coffee and a grinder. So coffee beans are pretty self-explanatory. Picked up this grinder for like, 12 bucks on Amazon and it really doesn't take a whole lot of time so to make yourself a nice fresh cup of coffee you you really need to focus on getting good quality coffee beans and make sure you're using distilled water or some other very pure water source and I've definitely noticed a difference I got my cup right here so when you're, I'm not a barista in training by any means so as far as looking at coffee beans, if you can find something organic, uh, fair trade, making sure ethical business practices, that's that's best. I don't know a lot about that. I try to do a little bit of reading up on uh, brands and how they're manufactured and distributed before buying it. Um, the one I picked up was called Mayorga from Costco. Organic, fair trade seems like a pretty good company. You never really know until you pay a visit, obviously. Uh, but it, it, long story short, it was very easy to do, and I'm feeling a lot better having one cup of coffee, making it myself, and I wouldn't be doing any of this if I hadn't shifted my focus as a part of that accountability and goal setting to say I want to look for ways to become healthier, and that was one thing that just occurred to me. Um, I found that w when you're focusing on something, 
ideas will just occur to you if you have that theme in mind and you're thinking about it and focusing on it you may notice things that were around you all along or part of your routine that you were doing all along that you could do better it was there the whole time but since you're focusing on it now that's why you happen to have the idea and make it happen so one tip for today is you could think about something that you do in your day-to-day routine that you think is healthy for you or i mean if you if you know it's not then that's an easy one but take something like um eating a salad so if you eat a salad every day and the purpose of that is to get some whole foods and some nutrients um, think about how you could make that better so if it's a salad where are the ingredients coming from Uh, do you have uh, what sort of fat sources are you using is there added sugar that you could take out of it like by using a different dressing are using cheese where you know how is the cheese manufactured think about the quality of each ingredient how you're combining it and how it's serving your purpose just as an example but you can really think about anything that you do um, something maybe you've done for a long time and haven't really thought about and you can examine each part of it and see like is there a way that i can make this better what am I trying to accomplish by having this as part of my routine? Is it serving me and how could I make it better? So that's the, the tip for today. Uh, following up from last week, what I would say also is that the accountability, it, it just, it really makes a difference. So one tip related to accountability is if you don't want to commit to a year long program like I'm doing, you could look into other methods, or if you, you know, if you aren't able to find a partner who would work with you for a year, um, that fortunately we're doing a pilot program at work, so there was a built-in opportunity to connect with coworkers, and and do this as part of a, a routine on the job. So that's fortunate. Not a lot of people have that opportunity built in. What you could do is look online. There's a lot of accountability groups around specific topics. So that's a way that you could join in and have some community and some accountability. Um, Some of you on the page have mentioned personal trainers. That's a great way to have accountability. One thing to try out if you're not doing this already is to ask your personal trainer to give you something to work on in between your sessions or just tell them that you would like to work on something and check in with them during the next session. So that's a way to in addition to having the trainer hold you accountable during the session uh, to do have some homework, like if it's stretching or if you're going to drink more water, whatever the case may be, whatever would be in line with your goals. If you tell it to your trainer and you work on it throughout the week and you check back in with them, that would serve a similar purpose to what I'm doing in this program. And probably your trainer will be excited about that because it will make their job easier, your results will be better, you'll be happier, it'll be a win-win. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, Again, just thinking about one little thing I did, that one thing I focused on that ended up um, getting some legs of its own and ended up with a routine that I'm much happier with. So if you like this, um, give it a like, shoot me a comment if you have any feedback, and we'll see you next time.